Liberals like to claim they are superior to conservatives. However, one major liberal state isn't as great as they claim. In fact, the state's leaders are being embarrassed and humiliated as the truth is coming out about the effects of their policies. It's no secret that cities run by liberals are some of the worst in the country. That's especially true when Democrats have dominated the area for decades. Baltimore is steeped in poverty and crime. Detroit is in ruins. Chicago is a battlefield. New York enjoyed almost two decades of conservative leadership, but just a few years of de Blasio, and it's in the pits. Democrats are like cancer. They attach themselves to a healthy region and suck the life out of it. Their terrible policies, manipulative practices, and near-illegal agenda destroy a prosperous area, undermining its values and traditions. But, one part of the country trumps all the rest. This region has had a long history of liberal legislators and leaders. I'm talking, of course, about California. A new report has announced the Golden State has the worst quality of life in America, behind even New Jersey. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Not only does California stink, but it is suffering in all the areas in which Democrats claim to excel. Even environmental quality is low. Wow, that one's got to sting. California leads the country as overreaching, cumbersome environmental law. Businesses of all stripes suffer from their strict green rules. Yet, the citizens suffer from some of the worst environmental problems. I guess all that red tape and bureaucracy only made things worse. Social engagement is bad. Don't liberals claim to be incredibly social conscious? Aren't they the ones who are willing to put the well-being of society and community ahead of their own? They are willing to hurt individuals, their rights and ability to make wealth in order to improve social conditions. Yet, in the liberal hub of the country, social engagement is in the toilet. They can't even get people to vote or participate in the community. Of course, the worst factor is the high poverty. Cost of living is through the roof in major California cities. Homelessness is out of control in places like San Francisco. We see that in almost every democratically run city. Once they get into power, rent suddenly skyrockets and basic necessities like food and utilities become shockingly expensive. It's almost as if they are doing it on purpose. Spoiler alert, they are. That's completely unacceptable. This falls on the heads of every liberal California leader. They claim their party cares about the poor and less fortunate. They condemn conservatives for only caring about the rich. Yet, when you inspect cities run by liberals, you better believe poverty, homeless, and unemployment is sky high. Governor Jerry Brown would argue that the state has a balanced budget. That's very easy to do when you jack up taxes and use very little of the money to improve your state. Where is all the money going, Jerry? To fund criminals' legal fees? Is it being used to help illegal aliens fight the United States government? How about trying to do something to make legal California residents happy? Over the last few years, many residents have been fleeing the state for greener pastures like Texas and Florida. I don't blame them. Good, honest, hard-working Americans don't deserve to be treated this way. They deserve to live in a state that cares about their well-being. It's clear that the elitists who run California don't care about their people. They suck up all their money and give little back. Worse, they lecture citizens for not agreeing with their toxic plans. 
The greater tragedy is that things probably won't improve in California anytime soon.